How, how many here, uh, if your hands can point, uh, have been unemployed more than three months? More than six months? A year? More than two years? I think one of the worst things that we see when you look at the work is the tendency simply to surrender, to give up. After a while, you can begin to look and you see that there's just nothing out there and why should I even try? Uh, sometimes it's just hard to get out of bed. Sometimes you feel like it's two in the morning and you're the ugliest person at the single bar. <laughs> <laughs> you know you're not going anywhere. <laughs> and you got to, if that's happening, you know that's got to be bad. Now try and how many would, would be going to that single bar every day for the next year if, if no one asks you your number? After a while, you just don't go. So... There's an interesting phenomenon. If you look at the news the other day, there's the thing that the rate in America is now 9.5%. How many know that's not true? Oh. Yeah. You know why it's not true? I'm counted. Because they only count the people that are on unemployment and are currently actively and aggressively looking for jobs. What they don't count are the people who've been looking for jobs, have run out of them, and have given up. So when they tell you that the unemployment rate in this country is 9.5 percent, here's what the the, the rule of thumb is: double, maybe even more. And you'll find that you'll see about two or three out of ten people that you know are unemployed. If they actually gave you the true number, there would be panic in this country. And if you look at the, the numbers I gave you, one thing might be clear to you. More people have given up looking for employment than are currently looking for employment. Now, does that mean you wouldn't take a job if one what slapped you in the head? No, of course not. Of course not. But after a while, it just gets too fatiguing to do the same thing that are never or never seem to be getting you ahead. Okay. Uh, what is the uh, uh, the old the old saying? The uh, uh, the definition of insanity. Anyone who knows the definition of insanity? is doing the same thing over and over again, hoping for different results, okay? And, and some people might say that if you're doing the same thing over and over again, uh, after a while, you do the same problem. So the question that I have is, is what you're doing, what you should be doing, or are you doing some things that really don't make a lot of sense? Let's talk about what the average job search looks like. Get up in the morning, Go to the newspaper. Go to the newspaper. And we go to the newspaper. Look for the one ad. What do you see? You don't see anything. First of all, you see the same employers who are trying to hire people every day. And let me give you a warning about that. There are employers who are actually predators out there. They will take advantage of your desperation. They will hire you and not pay you. They will hire you and 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 not take all the work you do this like but they'll hire you for things like telephone sales, and you're only going to make money if you make a commission, and 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 or that you're door to door selling something that isn't that good and very expensive. Uh, and what they hope you're going to do. Uh, is they'll hire you, and you will then go to all of your friends and relatives 
and, 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 and they will feel bad for you, and they will buy whatever stuff <laughs> that, that, that they've got you to, to sell. And as soon as you run out of friends and relatives who could buy this stuff, they'll fire you. And then they'll hire the next stuff. Uh, it's a world of sharks out there. And I want you to know that all employers are not equal. And that their employers are out there. It's not to say that everyone who calls the phone is wrong. Some of them are actually good. But be very careful. If they won't pay you anything uh, uh, to be trained, be careful. Uh, if you, you have to provide all your own leads through your family uh, and your friends, be careful. Uh, because people, they get so desperate. They just, they can't. And, and, and it, it's just difficult. Isn't it? has, has anyone ever taken one of those? Anyone ever done that? Have you? It's, it, it's a hard road, isn't it? And it can make you feel pretty negative. Uh, so be <coughs> be careful about that. <laughs> okay. Bottom line, you look at the newspaper. What do you see? Well, not very much. And if it, what you'll see in the newspaper is stuff that anyone can do, and they're not very good jobs, or there's stuff that's so complex that only a handful of people. Mm -hmm could possibly qualify, and that's why I got the newspaper anyway, because it doesn't find anybody. And you don't have that. So then you go down, and maybe you go to, did anyone go to job service? I'm looking at this stuff, go down. And what job service will do, and I'll talk more about that, and why, uh, is you can look through the jobs, but they won't tell you where they are. They, you know, I mean, they think that if you, uh, uh, you, you can't be trusted with that kind of information. Uh, and then you have to go to someone who will screen you to find out whether you were able to select yourself properly. And then they will decide whether or not you'll be referred to that, 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 that employer or not. Uh, can it work? Uh, yeah, job service is a, a long standing uh, organization and it does work. And I'll say exactly what it works for. It works for people who are pretty well qualified and pretty marketable with almost no barriers to employment or problem. It works for that. But the job search has never worked really well for people who have serious barriers to employment, whether it be age, uh, on, on either end of them, whether you're too old or too young, uh, not worked well for people with disabilities, 